Hey hello everyone, I'm Brevy1322 and this video is going to show the fastest fully upgraded vehicles in the GTA Online SUVs class in terms of top speed. As always, the position counter is in the top left with the actual top speed the vehicle achieved in the top right, and for this 2020 series I'll be showcasing the non-raceable vehicles first. However, we don't actually have any non-raceable vehicles in the SUVs class, so we start the regular raceable vehicles list with the Mesa in 30th place overall. This video only focuses on straight line performance, so if you're interested in racing, where braking, cornering and acceleration are all relevant, check the link in the description for the lap time testing series, and if you want to know more information about this testing, including the extent to which it's accurate, and how useful it is for you personally, have a read of the full description as everything that you need is in there. This video lists all vehicles and is correct as of the Casino Heist update. For any SUVs added after that or other classes of cars, check the playlist linked in the second line of the description and feel free to check out my Patreon or become a YouTube member if you want to support this work and get tested results of any new vehicles a little bit early. So obviously we've seen a little bit of a change from the top speed video already in comparison to what we saw with the, uh, the, the lap time video with the Mesa all the way at the very bottom of the list for top speed, not doing that great. but. Something that came to my mind fairly recently as I was going back over the SUVs for these 2020 specific videos is that the SUVs class really is the probably the most normal class that we have left in the game, apart from coupes, which, you know, it hasn't had a DLC car since, I don't know, 2015 or whatever it was, 2016, and it's only ever had two DLC cars anyway. The, the the SUVs class doesn't have any non-raceable vehicles, first of all, you know, we've got in the muscle class, the sports class, the supers class, even sports classics, we've got vehicles that you can't race because they've got weapons, we've got arena war vehicles mixed in with muscles and sports, for example. The SUVs class doesn't have any of that. It also doesn't have any vehicles in it that you can't upgrade. Uh, it just, it's it seems, it's just hit me recently that the SUVs class is it's pretty normal, which is, you know, unusual for classes in this game this day and age. The fact that we haven't seen, I guess, you know, we've got armoured SUVs, that, but they can still be used in races. And the fact that we haven't seen sort of crazy weaponized SUVs with turrets on the top or things like that, you know, the... the, the, the um, rear doors of an SUV opening up and having someone in the back with a gun, you know, things like that, I wouldn't be surprised. But we haven't seen any of that, so it's quite refreshing to have done these 2020 videos for the SUVs class, even though the top speeds aren't that great, you know, it's pretty much the same listing as what we saw when we did it originally, apart from the, the new, new breed of SUVs that are much quicker, for example. It, it's been quite refreshing to, to focus on a class that doesn't have any of that nonsense. So obviously we're into the top 15 here for the uh, top speeds. We've been going through them as I've been rambling on. Top speeds aren't that great for SUVs. We're, you know, these are all fully upgraded and we're talking just over 100 miles per hour. That's not going to be doing anything in terms of uh, race ability for the SUVs class alone. And when you're talking about going from point A to point B quickly with four people in the car, an SUV actually isn't what you want. You know that there's uh, much quicker sports cars, four-door sports cars, that will that will do the job there. But as we get towards the end and we're sort of coming into the top ten, we are going to start to see a decent bump in terms of top speed. First with the Recorder here with 107.5 for 12th place, and then we've got all of the ballers. I'm not going to say baller too much. You know the score by now. There's too many of them in the class, um, but. We're going to have a few vehicles here as we get into the top 10 that all share exactly the same lap time, uh, exactly the same top speed, I should say, with the Baller LE LWB, then we've got uh, the Baller LE Armoured version, I think, alongside the Huntley S, uh, and I think uh, we'll, we'll see what it is when it pops up, but there's about four different SUVs that all share exactly the same top speed. Oh, of course, the regular Baller. And the way that obviously these are broken up, as it always is with the top, these top speed videos, the vehicle that has the better lap time, as we saw from the lap time testing video uh, last week, that will get the position higher. So when vehicles share the same top speed, lap time is the uh, the decisive factor for what gets the highest position. But ultimately, you know, they are just the same top speeds. And it's not really until we get 
to be fed until the top three you know just as we saw with the lap time testing video all of these SUVs that we've got here so far they're the old style of SUVs they're pretty standard for what we used to consider to be SUVs back in the day competitive SUVs were things like the Huntley S it's now only in seventh place for top speed and none of the old breed of SUVs back from 2013, 2014, 2015 can do anything in an SUV's race anymore because the top three now exist and they've just pushed the game on entirely and pushed performance to a completely different level um, in the SUV's class. So, yeah, good number of cars here, as you've seen, all with 108.3 miles per hour for their top speed. And then we've got the Baller LE just nudging that a little bit higher uh, with 108.8 .8. so you kind of you're getting a full view of the the five different types of uh, new style baller you're getting a full view of kind of which you know, the le is slightly better then we've got the the lwb uh the the le lwb and then also the the le armored kind of on the same level as the regular baller and then the le LWB armored slightly slower. God, those are so stupid, those names. Um, uh, fourth place for the contender. You know, when the contender came out, as I said in the lap time testing video, it did kind of dominate the class. It was the top vehicle in the SUVs class for both lap time and top speed. But obviously, it's nowhere near now. Why it's in the SUVs class, who knows? But it doesn't matter these days because the top three exist. So in third place is the Rebler GTS. With a top speed of 123.5 miles per hour, that's a significant jump from what we've just seen from the Contender, which used to be the best, and all the other vehicles that were pretty close. You know, we've seen 107 back at, with the Recorto, all the way up to 109. So many vehicles that were sharing a top speed of 108. And then as soon as we get to the top three, we take a massive jump to 123.5, which is absolutely ridiculous for an SUV. Second place, we've got the Novak. Again, the same order as what we saw from the lap time testing video. 126.0 miles per hour for the Novak, even quicker. This would be able to beat a lot of supercars for top speed. Certainly the majority of sports cars, the Novak is quicker than it. So everything that I said earlier about getting from point A to point B in an SUV, definitely the top three you can certainly choose. But ultimately the number one is of course the Tauros. At this point feel free to subscribe if you haven't already for regular lap time and top speed testing videos and updates when new cars are released and check out other classes in the playlist. But the Tauros has a top speed of 127.5 miles per hour making it quicker than almost every single sports car in the game for top speed. Pretty much every single muscle car in the game that doesn't have a crazy boost. Most supercars and I think pretty much every single sports classic car as well. The Tauros is ridiculous for lap time and for top speed. When you're seeing the comparison here between very top of the class, the Tauros, and the, the, the very bottom of the class with the Mesa, that's a massive top speed difference. And yeah, the, the Tauros is kind of crazy, the kind of top speed that it can get for being an SUV and it's the only thing that you need for SUV races. As I said earlier, the top three just decimate the class, but ultimately you only ever need the Tauros for a, an SUV race, or even if you want an SUV to go from point A to point B on the map, the Tauros is the one to have. One final thing to mention is that the Tauros is indeed the fastest four seat vehicle in the game in terms of top speed. It isn't for lap time, that actually goes to the jugular, at least for now, in the sports class. But uh, certainly for top speed, the Tauros has it down. As, as you know, There's no four-seat vehicle quicker than the Tauros over a long distance. So that's pretty much it. Consider supporting on Patreon or become a YouTube member if you want to get testing results early. And remember to read the description for more info, comment with your thoughts, like the video if you enjoyed or found it helpful, and subscribe for more. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.